in today's video i'm going to share with you five things that have helped me to grow my hair from this to this in just two years the last point is a bonus point and i think it might just be the most important so make sure you watch to the end welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is angel and in this channel we share everything about hair how to grow long and beautiful luscious natural hair and we also do a little bit of lifestyle a little bit of cooking a little bit of this and that so if that's what you're interested in make sure to subscribe turn on the post notification so that you can get notified anytime i post and if you're an og a returning subscriber returning viewer you are welcome my love i am so happy that you're back Again. And my number one point, which is one thing I tell every single person that's about to start their natural hair journey, is to always deep condition. Never ever skip deep conditioning whenever you're washing your hair. Now, this is my second natural hair journey, and this is a lot better. My hair is a lot softer, a lot manageable, and that's because I am consistently deep conditioning my hair. I mean, every single wash day. And nowadays, I'm trying my best to, do, to wash my hair every week i'm not successful yet but i'm trying to wash my hair weekly and every single week when i wash my hair i'm going to deep condition my hair and it's super easy please don't be part of those people that will put deep conditioner in their hair overnight please unless it's written in the um instruction for you to use it overnight otherwise just follow the instruction leaving it for too long doesn't do anything more that it would normally do one deep conditioner that i love to use that i recommend every time i will, I will scream it the world it's the olive oil ors replenishing condition i'm going to put a picture here that is my og that is my love the love of my life that's my <sighs> all right moving on third tip is for you to learn how to balance moisture and protein if you don't already know our hair is made up of protein and moisture protein helps our hair to be strong and you know prevent the hair from breakage and all of that and then moisture of course moisturizes our hair makes it soft and makes it really good if you're experiencing moisture overload this is a problem if you're experiencing protein overload it is a problem as well so you have to learn how to balance it balancing it helps your hair to be really soft but yet yeah, hard to break you know so make sure to understand moisture and protein personally i love to use rice water i know there's a lot of controversy about rice water but that's what i love to use and then i use that as a as a protein treatment i use it to cripple my hair every now and then not all the time i'll say once in a month or once in two months i use it to cripple my hair i just let it sit in my hair for about 20 for about 20 minutes i have recipe of how i made my rice water on my channel already i'm going to link it in this description box down below so make sure to check it out and as soon as i leave the protein and as soon as i leave the rest of the time in my hair for about 20 minutes i wash my hair and of course i deep condition my hair all the time my hair tends to lean towards protein than moisture that's why my hair is really tough it's really hard to manage you know it's hard to break as well although it can still break protein overload and moisture overload is bad so just shout in the middle figure out a way like me i've noticed i don't need much protein i need more of moisture so that's what i do i focus on moisture there are lots of deep conditioners that have protein there are lots of um living conditioners that have protein that's why you should explore understand what your hair wants and that leads us to number three point which is for you to understand your hair it is super important for you to monitor every single thing that you apply on your hair and see how your hair reacts to it understand how your hair reacts to moisture understand how your hair reacts to protein and understand how your hair reacts to other things it could be that everybody's using clove and it's working for them but your hair it will not work for you somebody came to my youtube channel and then she saw that i used rice water she used it and then it didn't work for her hair so you have to understand your hair make sure to monitor your hair all the time how your hair reacts to certain things how your hair doesn't react to anything to something you know just monitor your hair understand that your hair is different it is super important for you to understand your hair is different it's unique you know now the first thing a naturalist that will tell you to do is to put your hair in a protective style for it to grow i have seen tons of people that grow their hair in in um twists i've seen lots of people that grow their hair in um twist out i've seen tons of people that grow their hair in wash and goes you know everybody's hair is completely unique and it can work what works for you might not work for another person i'm low porosity i have 4c hair my hair is really dense my biological sister is also low porosity i can use heat in fact i even need heat my hair literally needs heat whenever i'm putting on my deep conditioner otherwise it won't get into my strand but my sister on the other hand if she as much as uses warm water it turns her hair frizzy it looks really brittle and 
it's just not cool so i have to show you that every single person that it could be your relatives hair is com could be completely different from yours so make sure you understand that your hair is unique in as much as it's very very good to watch what other people are doing and to research to you know explore things i've done a lot, i've used a lot of things on my hair that didn't work for me but as soon as i noticed that it's not working for my hair i leave it and then i go to the next thing and that will lead us to our point number four which is for you to do your own research do your own research that is extremely extremely important we can only tell you the basics about hair honestly you need to do your own research personally i had to watch tons and tons of youtube videos on my youtube breeded naturalistas make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you know what i'm talking about most of us learned how to take care of our hair on youtube it's not something that we were taught well most of us were not taught how to take care of our hair however we had to learn on youtube so you can learn on youtube is I, I think youtube is the easiest way you can get books people are writing books now on how to grow natural hair and all of that make sure to explore and be open-minded understand that something might not work for you it could work for angel but it could not work for you it could work for you it could not work for angel so understand that your hair is completely different make sure to explore i'm not the kind of person that will tell you to see nobody should come for me but i'm not the kind of person that will tell you get a routine and stick to it like forever more until jesus come write it on stone i'm not that kind of person i love to explore on my hair and that's something that i've learned how to do recently and i'm loving it my hair is loving it as well however if you're exploring and your adventure they carry the go where you know no please carry yourself back and make sure to stick to whatever it is you're doing that's why i said understand your hair understand what's going on with your hair personally i love to explore i love to explore if i see that clove it helps hair growth I'm using clove. If I say that fine great, I'm using fine great flax. I mean, I love to explore. But if your hair doesn't like that, my hair can take it. My hair is a strong girl. She is very very strong. She can take, she can take a lot of battles. Okay. <laughs> but if your hair is extremely brittle, your hair is, your hair is a baby girl and doesn't need stress. Please don't stress it. Don't stress her. Let her be. Let he be. Let your hair, whatever pronouns you want to use on your hair, let it be, okay? Understand that nobody will tell you everything. See, I can do, I can as much as tell you the basics in how to take care of your hair, but I, I won't. Honestly, you have to apply certain things on your hair to actually know how they react to your hair. So make sure to do your research, make sure to explore. Explore, honestly, I feel like it's so boring to just stick to one thing. That's my opinion. Don't worry, you come for me, please. But that's my opinion i'd like to explore so make sure to explore okay and then my number five tip is for you to explore herbs and plants and seeds and all those goodness i have a couple of them on my channel i'm not just telling you to try them because i'm uploading them on my youtube but because i am uploading them because they actually work and those that don't work i am completely completely honest 1000 percent honest if i was honest i'll have blocked my comment section so that people will not go and try to come and come for me but i actually tried these things and they actually work if you don't know what herb to use or how to mix them up there are tons of brands i can talk about nigeria brands because i'm a nigerian living in nigeria but there are tons of nigeria brands that would already mix certain herbs that are compatible with each other for you so you can just get them and then either you use them as gloss for your hair or you use them you mix them to a deep conditioner there are just so many instructions so many unique instructions for unique um for unique herbs and whatever you need to also be open-minded listen it's not all herbs that make your hair to grow herbs like um i don't know it's shebe herb i don't know plant whatever it is shebe on the contrary to what a lot of people think it doesn't make your hair grow please don't come for me it doesn't make your hair grow don't shebe don't make your hair grow what it does is to help your hair to be strong to retain length if your hair does not break your hair will retain length Try shebe for like a year consistently and i noticed that it did not make my hair grow however it just helped me to it just helped my hair to be really strong gave my hair strength and now my hair was not breaking literally at all during that period i don't know why it stopped i done not stop laziness laziness but herbs like papaya papaya is a plant plants like papaya and um herbs and spices like rosemary you know all the stuff some make your hair to grow because i am a living testimony i have tons of videos on my channel please make sure to explore them they make your hair grow those ones actually make your hair grow i heard that rosemary actually also helps your hair to stop breaking i don't know i can't say because i haven't exper i've not um 
I've not monitored it enough to know if it actually stops it from breaking. But just, just explore. This also leads back to my previous point, which is for you to do your own research. My dear, do your research. Be open-minded. Natural hair is not hard. Don't, don't have that mentality that it is hard. By the time you have that mentality, you will just, in fact, eh, see, it's just, it's just like having a baby. Babies are extremely annoying. You sometimes you just want to pack them and throw them away. But because you love them, you're going to actually take care of them. You're actually going to research on things to make them feel better and all that. That's how your hair should be. And that is my bonus point. Love your hair. Always, always love your hair. Learn to love your hair. That would help you. By the time you start having interest in actually growing your hair, you will see that these things that people are saying is true. Okay, now, when I was in Shape Powder, you're supposed to make use of it for three hours. Some people would be like, oh my god, that is so stressful, I can't do that. But me, eh, when I know what I was doing with my hair, I was doing my full chest. If people tell me to leave for six hours on that heat scalp, I'm gonna leave it. But you know, you need to understand that, you need to love your hair, and you need to understand that by the time you actually... See, if you don't love it, you won't put effort, that's just the truth. If you don't love it, you will not put effort. So just inter be intentional about loving your hair, and then you'll see it will show results on your hair, and your hair will be luscious and delicious okay and then also love your pattern it took me a while i won't even lie it took me a little while to actually love my hair because it's thick and it doesn't have curls now i am so in love with my hair there's nothing you can tell me about my hair that i don't love i am so in love with my hair i love every single coil every single pattern every single thing so if you love it it's going to love you back honestly all right so i hope this video was helpful to you if it was helpful make sure to tell me in the comment section down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet please make sure to check my other videos i have tons of educational videos that will help you to grow your hair as i mentioned earlier so thank you very much for watching this video i love you so much and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye